Okie dokie, second example for this problem. I will work it out a little bit faster. If you'd like more of a breakdown, please visit the other example or really please visit 1.1.2c because that problem is essentially the same problem as this one. So in this problem, we start with the first two statements and we can ignore these inequalities at the end because really these first two statements are really just describing how the function is changing from left to right. It'll start concave up and change to concave down. Concave up to concave down. So which of these functions start concave up? It looks like A starts concave up. That's a good sign. And it looks like D is the other one that starts concave up. It looks like options B and C start concave down. So we can eliminate B and C. And then between A and D, they say, uh, this is where statement three comes into play. So uh, the rate of change is negative for blah, blah, blah. We, again, we can ignore that inequality and all we're checking out is that the rate of change is negative. Rate of change being negative means that the slope is negative. In other words, the function is decreasing. If instead it said the rate of change is positive, that would mean you'd have a positive slope or an increasing function. So be on the lookout for those. But in this case, since the rate of change is negative between A and D, the one that is decreasing or has a negative slope would be option A because D has an increasing behavior. So we break out the eraser and we see that A is our best choice.